What is good, everybody? Today we are wrapping up our WWE Elite Series 110 reviews with the pretty deadly Kit Wilson and Elton Prince figures, as well as Bruno San Martino. Did not think you'd ever see these guys together in a review. I know I probably should have paired these guys differently, but we are going to wrap up Elite 110 here today with Pretty Deadly and Bruno San Martino. Of course, very interesting developments here. You know, I think that Pretty Deadly, kind of crazy they didn't get basics first, man. They rolled them right out into the main Elite line, which I don't know, man. It seems like it's kind of inconsistent at times, but between who gets an elite first versus who gets a basic first and things, you know, so on and so forth. I feel like it's very inconsistent, right? But I don't know. You can let me know what you think of that down in the comment section below. Also, guys, don't forget we have a whatnot stream coming up on Sunday night. Link in the description below. You get $15 off your first purchase by signing up and you could get some items for free just by doing that. So definitely look into that, man. I would greatly appreciate it. But we did pick these up from Ringside Collectibles. If you guys want to grab those, go over to Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. But we are are going to dive into the review here today. We have a tag team, modern day, and a very, very big throwback. Bruno over here looking like Anton Chigurh. Looks like he's about to just run on a rampage, which would be an amazing fact. I would love to have a WWE Elite custom of him. Shout out to the OGs that know that one, but looking at Pretty Deadly here, man, I don't know how I feel about these figures. I think they're going to be solid, but I'm questionable on some of the likenesses. We'll see, but we do have Wilson and Prince here looking pretty good. I like their cloth goods. We'll have to crack them open and find out what they're all about, but we have the handsome gentleman there on the side, and then we do have their craziness on the back with their blue gear, which I do like. I think their gear is cool. We do have the dreaded, unfortunate look of the Daniel Bryan torso. Will it affect the figures? We'll have to see. Maybe it will work out good for those guys. But if you missed any of our other WWE Elite 110 reviews, definitely go check those out. But we're finishing it up with Bruno here, who was originally in Elite Series 25, and this guy was going to be in the Greatest Hits Target Exclusive Legends wave, or the Legends Greatest Hits Target Exclusive wave, and he ended up getting pulled from that set last minute, and they plugged him in here. So, I don't know why that happened, you know, you, some things you'll never know, I guess, but we do have Bruno here, first time ever owning a Bruno figure, I don't have that original, so I'm excited here, this is three brand new characters into my collection as we take a look at WWE Elite Series 110, but let's shut the hell up, let's crack all three guys out of the packaging, find out what they're all about, and dive into this review of three figures in one, because for some reason, Mattel decided to put seven guys in this set instead of the traditional six. So here's all three figures out of the packaging, and I do apologize for the three boxes on screen. I, I, the three in one just doesn't work, man. You, we don't do the shot of the guys on the rotating base with three figures. It just, uh, it's, it's just not good, all right? It messes with the flow. It messes with the vibe for me. But nonetheless, since Pretty Deadly is a tag team and their accessories are essentially the same, we're going to do all of their accessories in one, and then we'll review both figures back to back so you guys can see the differences between the two. Spoiler alert, there's not much. And then we'll dive into Bruno San Martino's accessories and Bruno San Martino break down all the lore, get into it, man. But let's dive into it, man. Let's get into Pretty Deadly's accessories, and then we'll get into Pretty Deadly themselves. All right, man, we have Pretty Deadly's accessories here. We get two interchangeable head sculpts with each guy. We get the same exact hands, and we get the same exact cloth goods. And again, man, both guys come with the exact same cloth goods. It's like this shirt. It reminds me of the damn shirt that Spider was wearing on School of Rock, except it's mesh. <laughs> And it's a very stretchy material, and it's very high quality and nice. It's got the Velcro on the back. You already saw it on the figure, but it fits very nice. And the they come with two of them. Nice cuffs on here. It's very nice. Very, very good stuff right here. I enjoy this. This is good stuff, and we get two of them. So I, I like this, man. I think that these are very high quality. I, I'd be careful with them. I don't think they're going to tear necessarily, but any netting or like mesh material you get like this, I certainly wouldn't trust all the way. But it feels good. It's quality. It doesn't feel cheap. It feels like a high-end quality item, so that's good. And it fits the figures well, so I don't have any issues there. I'm glad to see some cloth goods in this wave, because really, this is the only cloth goods we got besides Pete Dunne's jersey. Now, outside of that, we do have our Kit Wilson head sculpt. You have this smirking face here, which I think looks like him for the most part. He's kind of got like a five o'clock shadow beard kind of going on, kind of a thinner chin strap deal. And then we get another interchangeable head, which is going to be the sort of reaction face, which the beard is darker, which I think is odd, but it's kind of a, you could use it for a lot of different things. I mean, blowing a kiss face, you have like a, I don't know, a modeling face. There's a lot of different things you can do there. So... I think they both look like the characters, so I don't really have any issues there. I like the head shape, the hair color. Everything looks pretty damn good for the most part, I'd say, with Kit Wilson. Now, again, these guys both come with the same cloth goods, but they do come with their own individual heads. And for Elton Prince, I like this sort of, like, I don't know, sh smolder style face. You know, Flynn Rider style. It's kind of like a smolder, and then he has his blonde hair in there, and then we do have the same exact expression that, you know, Kit Wilson was making. So you kind of get that, you know, two for one. You have the sort of their, like, smirking, sort of chilling face, and then you eat 
each have their reaction face or their wooing head sculpt, blowing the kiss, you know, different things like this. But, you know, they're the tasty snacks and, and they act according, you know. So we do have our Kit Wilson and Elton Prince head sculpts and their cloth goods. And these guys are virtually the exact same, man. You get Mike holding hands with each character. And then you get the new improved Johnny Gargano, Ricochet, Kawhi Leonard, handshaking style hands, which could be high fives, entrance, wide open. Lots of, you know, let me get $5 to tomorrow style head and sculpt. That's what you get here. And you get two sets of each or one pair of each with each figure. So getting into the Pretty Deadly figures themselves, we've already taken a look at the head sculpt, so we don't need to spend a ton of time here, but I think the likeness, again, to Kit is pretty good here. Not My favorite head sculpt kind of looks like a substitute teacher or a student teacher of mine back in middle school, and, oh man, bless his heart. I say that because he got bullied by the by the kids. We were all like 11 and people were so damn mean, man. It's because he, I don't even want to say, I guess like, I doubt you'd be able to find him maybe, but I, I, I'm not even going to mention it. But basically he had something on his face and then people changed his name because he had something on his face and it was just really effed up, man. It's just stupid. It's just kids are brutal, man. But we do have the Daniel Bryan torso in here. Speaking of which, I know you cut, you come to the reviews for the little anecdotes about my former teachers because all these damn figures look like them, but no wrist tape or anything. Daniel Bryan torso. I do like this belt here with the little studs on it and I like the little paint splatter or I don't even know what the pattern you'd call that. It's kind of a paint splatter little art building slash sort of background. You do have the nice cross hatching. Kind of reminded me of the Tar Heels. Look, looking like North Carolina over here on the sides but we do have this light blue and dark blue and the blue on, on the figure itself looks completely different than on camera in my personal opinion, but what do I know? Pinless legs, which are very tight. This looks to be the Heath Slater leg mold, if I'm not mistaken, but it is pinless instead of the normal. But we do have these boots in here, which I really like. You have the little red patterns there, and you have the, the gold or the brown in there. Very clean. I like these boots a lot. Now, the thing about the Pretty Deadly figures is they are pretty much, I mean, dude, these are like one-of-one one copy. I'm pretty sure the patterns and everything are pretty much the exact same. I'm not seeing anything different. So, you're basically buying the exact same figure, except you are getting a different head sculpt. So, I don't know. It is what it is. These aren't my favorite figures of all time, but they're certainly, they're solid. You know, I think they're solid, but yeah, the, these guys are exactly the same. Like, yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. These guys look pretty much virtually the exact same. All you're getting is a different head sculpt. From the neck down, these guys are the exact same figure. They have the exact same accessories and all. Before your pretty deadly figure comparisons, we do have a couple tag teams here. We do have A-Town Down Under. We have Olsen Theory and Grayson Waller. And then we do have our New Catch Republic, which is going to be Tyler Bate and Pete Dunn. You have the Elite 110 Theory and Pete Dunn in here, and then we do have Grayson Waller and my fix-up custom Tyler Bate. And these all fit in nicely, you know. I just wanted to compare them to a couple modern tag teams so you guys can see what the deal is, how they scale well and everything like that. And I think all of these do fit in pretty well together. So getting into Bruno San Martino's accessories, I think this is possibly the best part of this entire video. But before we get into the best accessory, we have this nice 2013 Hall of Fame plaque, Bruno San Martino. Very nice scratch logo on there. I really wish we could get more of these. This is like the only thing we've ever seen in this way from Mattel. You know, I'd like to see it with a bunch of different guys. It'd be cool. In the Hall of Fame series, the Target exclusive, they could have included one of these. Every single Hall of Fame, you know, figure that we got would have been a perfect idea to give them a plaque such as this to pair with the figure. That would have been awesome. But this army green bronzish color going on on the face and has this light khaki-ish brown color so it doesn't have that much shimmer it has a little bit going on but I do like this accessory to include with Bruno and I guess you could like acetone the name off and just use it as a standard flag but it has a, the gear and stuff on there so there's that but where the money is made has to be this standing podium here with a mic and it is removable so you could use you could use this as like a title stand you know put a championship on there or you can plug the mic in and hold a press conference you know have a guy introduce you know, introduce somebody on stage. And I like how modern it looks. And we did get this originally with the Bruno. So the Hall of Fame plaque, all of his accessories are the same from the original figure that I've never owned. Now I have owned this podium multiple times over, but I am happy to have another one because I don't, th I can't remember the last time I saw this. So adding another one of these, I'll probably buy a couple more. I, I just like this. I like these accessories that add to your displays, to your dioramas, to your fed style stuff. So this is a very nice, and I love the clear plastic. It's just a very quality accessory. One of the better accessories I think that you get with any Mattel figure is the podium here that you can use for a lot of different things. And outside of that, we do get interchangeable hands, of course, which we include fists with Bruno to beat the hell out of people. And then you get Mike holding or Hall of Fame plaque holding style hands or hands to hold the championship of any kind. So, you, you know, you uh, lots of, oh, his thumb's stuck in his hand. So for Bruno San Martino, I think the likeness is pretty damn good. And again, it's pretty much the exact, I think this is a true effects head sculpt compared to the original, but he's got that swoopy haircut looking pretty good. Again, he looks like he's going to slaughter a bunch of people. 
Looking like Anton, man. I mean, it, this just screams Anton, which again, I gotta come up with a formula for that guy. You don't know what you're talking about, do you? He would fit nicely in my collection. I love that movie. But going down, we do have the Brock Lesnar style torso. He was a jacked individual. Man was big as hell, son. But he does have the stomach hair in here, the chest hair. I like the arm size, the shoulder size. Just a good representation of a, you know, just, they don't build them like this no more, man. I mean, this guy looks like he could choke you out in your sleep. Looks like just a tough SOB, you know. Hairy arms, got the tealish green trunks. Uh, they're coming off light green. They're more of like a neutral green. But on the back, you have nothing here. The original figure was like royal blue, I do believe. But he's got his nice jack thighs in there. Guy's thighs are massive. He could crush watermelons with these things. But he does not have pinless joints, which makes for better articulation. And he does have the white socks with the short black boots. Nothing crazy there. But figure seems to move around very well. You know, I don't, I don't have an issue here. Uh, the kick forward, though, is a bit eh. He is on ball joints, but the kick forward is not the greatest, you know? I don't think you need him doing 450 splashes, but, you know, it is what it is. I, I, I don't know, but you know, I like this figure. I do like this figure, and one thing that looks cool is the WWWF Championship. Putting that on there looks really good as well. It fits in nice, especially if you wanted to make, like, a really cool championship display, where you could have Bruno, and then, you know, like, see the championship as it evolves over time. That would be a really cool display. I thought about doing something like that beforehand but you know with room and access and everything like that it's kind of difficult but as far as some just different figure comparisons here i do have gorilla monsoon from the legends of the territory pack to compare with this bruno and i do want to like scoop this back a little bit there is pretty money and then just for like a tough old man son of a bish comparison we do have uh harley race in here just because i think that that would be cool i don't know i just think you know tough old men but we do have bruno there with the championship it's just a cool little fit in here and you know it's not for everybody Everybody. Like I said, this figure's not for everybody, but I do like classic figures like this, man. If you're not into the history of things, I, but I'm obsessed with history and like U.S. history and stuff. I don't know if that ties into like sports and just obsession with that kind of thing. I don't know. I just like the history of things. And that was my favorite subject in school was U.S. history. And I don't know. I just love it. I think it's so cool to know like the things of the past and things of that nature. I think that's really cool. But I do like the Bruno figure and I like the way he fits in here, man. You got to re pay respects to the legends that came before you, man. It's not their fault they were born back then. You can't help when you're born, Brad. Come on. I think that about wraps up our three in one WWE Elite 110 Pretty Deadly and Bruno San Martino review, man. I appreciate all you guys checking out the review. You. At the end of the day, if you missed out on the Bruno San Martino, I know he's not for everybody. He's a pretty, you know, throwback character. I understand it, but the WWWF Championship looks good here. I love the podium, man. I would say pick it up just for the podium accessory, and the Hall of Fame plaque is pretty cool as well. If you guys don't care for Bruno, you know, I, I don't know. You know, it's not for everybody. I realize that. If you have the first go-around, maybe you don't want to make the, the purchase here. You know, I, I could see that, but you do get the double-jointed arms and such, but if it's just not for everyone, and I can recognize that. And on the flip side of that, pretty deadly? I don't know, man. I, not my favorite team of all time. Not somebody that, you know, if you just want to update your current roster or you feel like these guys belong to your collection or you like the cloth goods for some reason, put it on a Shawn Michaels or a Jeff Hardy fix-up or something like that. Maybe you want to do so. But I don't know. They're they're definitely not my big cup of tea. I think they're talented in some ways, but they're not my favorite tag team to watch, you know? So that's a, just leave it up to you. Personal preference here. I don't think that any figure here is just dire and must-have. But at the same time, I think all of them are good representations of the characters. I think they're pretty solid. And if you're fans of these people, if you want these in your collection they these figures do suffice you know i don't think we're sitting on a scenario where we're like these are dog shish and you should avoid them i think if you're interested in these characters i think they're worth the pickup but if you don't have any care for them you don't need them you know but i guess that goes for everybody right so that's just where i land here i don't think there's anything egregious about them i think that you know the the pinless legs on the pretty deadly figures are a bit tight that bothers me we've discussed that at nauseum i do like the little belt accessory there i know it's not necessarily removable but i do like the way it conforms to the body and it doesn't really get in the way and it is accurate, so I do like that. And the cloth goods are pretty cool, too. I know we have these goofy head sculpts, but I think they kind of work for the character, so that makes sense. But my favorite part of this entire thing is the podium that comes with Bruno, so that's where I stand on these figures, man. But if you guys want to grab these, go over to Ringside Collectibles, use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. But that is pretty much going to wrap up our 3-in-1 Elite 110 review. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'd love to know your thoughts on these figures down in the comment section below. And a huge shout-out to our Patreon members, man. I appreciate all those fellas over there. You guys are absolutely incredible. I appreciate each and every one of you, man, from the bottom of my heart. So I do appreciate all you guys, but I'm getting... Oh, God, Bruno, no. He dropped his plaque at the... Jesus. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I will catch you guys later.